Carlton are now on top of the ladder from Collingwood on percentage, Essendon third from Geelong and Fitzroy. thrilling game it turned out to be. Essendon and Collingwood at the MCG and we'll be back with the first of our replays after this break. But the mud was a little bit too soft and he couldn't move. But there was no need for the ball, Pete. Taylor to take the free kick. He's one of Collingwood's best, incidentally. Taylor. 15 kicks to Taylor. Back into the centre. Looking for Davis. Watson. Gets sandwiched between two Collingwood players. Foles and Watson. Watson with a wild handball. Knock on by Schultz. Neil Danaher. Long kick for goal. Simon Madden's there. Doesn't bounce too well for him. Van der Haar comes into the assist. And Shepherds. Over goes Magro and also Madden. Van der Haar and Pickett on the boundary line. Picked up by Van der Haar. De Hawker is not long enough. Play on. Eustace. Off target, I feel. For one behind. Yes, it is. Stan Magro has to be there. I think he might have caught the boot as uh, the player was kicking the ball. 44 plays 63. It's a difference of 19 points. Well. The Mama certainly attacking, but uh, can't score the goals. 19 points the difference. Isn't it have scored five points this quarter, Luke? Stan Magro still in the hands of the trainers. Ball back out there towards Crow and Moore. Moore comes in to try and grab that one. There'll be a free kick against him to Clark. Little Shaw playing a great game. Taps the ball on there. He's got a spin away from the pack, and that's what he does. Brilliant play on the part of the Collingwood Rover. Down there looking for Banks. Comes in, has lost the mark. He's dropped the stone and there, picks it up. Goes for a hand pass out wide towards Morrison, but he couldn't pick it up in time, and it's out of bounds. This time, it's on Collingwood's half forward line, about 70 metres around from their goal. The Magpies are 19 points in front. Of course, they're hanging in there now. Knocked out by Crow. Picked up by Hawker. He steers clear of the pack, drives the ball back there towards the half forward line. A chance for more to mark. He got under that. Little Bahajas on that half four line, a hand pass. It's a long one. Coming in now to meet it as Allen and also to, uh, it's Terry Danaher. Pushed out by Dreyer. The ball is forced out again. The umpire's going to pull this up for sure out there. Now he's letting it go. As we see the ball picked up that time by Taylor, and he's going to pull it up this time out there towards the wing position. Well, there's plenty of uh, head on clashes here, and there's no big pardons at all. Bro. Got the tap down of Terry Danaher. He's clear. Kicks the ball back over the half forward. Not a chance for Van der to mark. He's good enough, but Billy Pickens there. Magro seems to be all right. Goes for hand pass out for Tony Shaw. He clears the ball back towards that half forward line. Dacos and Stars. A good mark from Andrews. Beautiful mark to Anderson. Dacos is in trouble. What a good mark to Andrews. He juggled it and brought it down superbly and regaining a little bit of form. That's always good news for Eston. Knocked away by Burns. Burns big punch into the centre. Allen trying to go forward. Court loses it. Clark's kick is short. Eston player down likewise. And the mark taken at half forward down there by Eustace. Eustace playing on. Tries the short pass. It's okay and he finds Tony Bahaja. Bahaja a long way from goal. Tries the short pass. It's successful. Terry Danaher taking the mark about 20 metres out from goal. The angle you can see. Simon Madden in the goal square. If anybody can take a grab close to goal, he can. Craig Stewart keeping a pretty close eye on him. I think he's going to have a shot. He'd have to from there. Danaher coming in for his first goal. Four points. Badly needed one for Eston to bring the Bombers a little bit closer and bring them up to seven goals. Eight, a total of 50 points. Collingwood 9-9, nine, nine, 63. 22 and a half minutes gone, 13 points the difference. The Bombers gradually wearing Collingwood down. Yes, they've kicked one goal five this quarter. They were 6-3 at half time to Collingwood 7-8. Collingwood had a good second term when they kicked 4-3 to 2-1. Well, they've been into attack for most of this quarter, Pete. Back into the centre, Sevens Big League at the 23-minute mark. 13 points the difference, third term. It's more against Crow. They both missed this one. Picked up by Irwin. The ball driven over the half forward line. Coming out now is Banks. He's got clear a hand pass to Rene Kick. It could be a goal. But he's easy. Put it through. Here, Gilly missed an easy one. He does some brilliant things, this guy, and he lets you down when you really want him. You see, nine goals, 10-64 to seven goals, 8-50 Essendon. 
At the back is Moore. Tries to go for the mark. Couldn't hold it. Hawker goes down. They pounce on top of him, and the umpire's going to ball it up about 55 metres out from the Collingwood goal. On their half-forward flank position. When they kick out the chance of a lifetime to regain that lead of nine, 19 points against Pete. Yes, he was. It was an easy goal, he too. Steady. Didn't steady at all. When A. Kink tries to get a hand pass out, it's picked up now by Crow, a long one over to Bowles. Bowles gets the kick and a long one back there towards half forward. Schultz and Magro go for it, neither take the mark. There's Eustace going for a hand pass to the hard down. This looks dangerous. He's grabbed, down he goes. Picked up by Eustace again. He fires for the goals. He's put it through for a point. Well, there was the chance of a lifetime for the Bombers. Of course, they've gone to attack for most of this quarter. 9-10-64 to Eston 7-9-51.